Hi, this is Rabbi Young. Thank you for tuning in to the weekly video email. I recently heard a teaching from Dr. Andrew Rayfield, the president of Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, and he reminded us about the Tower of Babel. It's a familiar story from Genesis chapter 11. We read it about three weeks ago in our weekly parasha, where the people of the land, all speaking one language, build a tower trying to get up to God, and God confounds their speech so they can no longer understand one another. And when that happens, they go their separate ways. And we don't know why they go their separate ways. It could Simply not understanding each other could have been a big part of it. They all go in different directions, no longer having the language to communicate with one another. But they don't go away violently. They don't go away with anger. They peacefully separate. Maybe they start colonizing other areas. Maybe they build structures of their own with people who can understand them. And it reminds me a lot of what's happening in our world today. We don't seem to understand one another. And I think a great deal of that is because we're not listening. But another part of that is we're forgetting that one of the reasons the residents of Babel did not walk away violently, did not walk away in, in anger, so it seemed, is because they had built a foundation. They had built something together that they were proud of, even though they didn't complete it. We need to remember to be proud of the foundation we have built in our nation. We need to remember that we're not finished building it. And we cannot simply walk away from it, but we have a lot of work to do together. And it's time to start learning the language of the other so that we can understand each other and continue building with great success. Have a wonderful week.